Hey everybody, this is Jeff from Build an Aquarium Workshop, and today we are excited. It is delivery day, uh, and for our 40 gallon rimless reef tank, we got these new, brand new Pop Bloom uh, Touring RS90 reef lights with the controller uh, and the bracket, mounting bracket. Okay, and this was a super deal on eBay. Uh, we picked it up for just over $200. And these are 2021 lights, so we are excited to get some new tech into uh, our aquarium hobby. And uh, these are, you'll see that it's four channels. I'll give you the stats on them. Uh, and it comes with a little monitor uh, to control, and so these are programmable lights. Uh, once we get them set up, we'll go ahead and uh, show you uh, what it looks like on the aquarium. But for now, we need to put together the bracket and also wanted to show you uh, what comes in the box as well. Okay, so first is the bracket came in this box here. Okay, and you can see, so we've got to be able to mount this uh, to the aquarium. It's basically just an L shape. And uh, this is what it came with and the hardware's in here and the instructions uh, are right here on both sides. That's what it came with. And then that is what it's gonna look like once it's done and that's how to put it together. So we're gonna go ahead and show you that. And then let's take a look at the lights. All right, so came packaged very well. It just shows us what it's gonna be. That's what it looks like, okay? Uh, and a little controller right there, which is very cool. Okay, there's a user guide, got that. Then we got how to install them, okay? Instructions, and then here we go. And then there's the lights with the power cord. So you got the power cord and actual light and be careful with that see what else we got in here first okay it's like some type of tie strap and then part of the bracket looks like it yep so this is going to go how to this is a mounting bracket and incidentally you can mount these two ways you can mount them um without the bracket as well uh, and of course it was under 200 without the bracket so the bracket with the bracket it was like 225 something like that so it was a really good deal and then we have let's see here let's try to get the lights out so there you go that's what it's going to look like there's the big old fan that goes to the top and then you have the controlling module that's what this is okay this right here i'm not sure maybe it goes to the module let's take a look Okay, so that was the AC-DC adapter, so the plug that came with it. So the plug's going to go into right there, and we'll show that to you when we get it set up. So I just want to go ahead and show you that that's what we got, and we can't wait to set it up. All right, so we got everything laid out, and uh, here we go. So we got basically, this is where the light's going to hook up to. This is adjustable, and then this basically bracket slides back and forth. That's the adjustable part, and you'll see when we put the light on. Okay, and then this is the arm. So the arm is going to mount, okay? It's going to be like that. Big bolt's going to go in there, okay? And then we're going to use, you have a couple choices of this and this. So we are going to use this one. And we're going to need these with the caps because we don't want the screws hitting the rim of the aquarium, okay? We want a cap right there. Um, that's what we're going to do. we got to put four screws in there and four caps. Okay, so that's here, the screws in the, in the screws in the caps. And then the big screw goes on the mounting arm. Okay, the first step here is to go ahead and put in these four screws. And here's the caps. I put one on right here for you. Okay. So this is the what's gonna hang on the rim of the tank. And uh, you need a Phillips head screwdriver. So what makes it adjustable, now you put the screws on the outside, of course, because you're going to need another couple of these screws for the mounting bracket. Because the mounting bracket then is going to go like that. And it can go, of course, go up and down on the aquarium, depending on how high you want, you need the light. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this on next. Now this right here, this bracket, there's, there's no hole on this side, but there is on this side. So this needs to go towards the water, okay? And this is the way. So I'm gonna take our bracket. We'll go ahead and for now, I'm not sure how, you know, how high we're gonna need it, but I'm thinking we'll go around, maybe around there. Take a couple of our screws for us. Probably easy just to put the these in there, okay? And line them up. 
Uh, there we go. We have one lined up. Just twist it. Just twist it on. That Phillips screwdriver going. So there's our bracket right there. Okay. And if that was our aquarium, it would sit. Would sit right on there. Okay. All right. So got this. We're gonna go ahead and put that on there. Your big screw is gonna go in there. Okay. And that is gonna go here. There's a hole on the top. All right, put that there. Okay, there we go, we got it. And there is a couple of little pieces of extend that just needs to go into those two holes. And then go ahead and put that on there. So now we have a nice owl bracket for you, right? Okay, next we wanna take this M5 single screw okay so, and we want to go ahead and put that you can see in there okay so there we got the um, you can see it bolt in there and we did the one heavy big heavy duty one that came with on there last two bolts sorry uh, you see there's these m3s here okay and these m3s are going to be used for the actual light. I'll go ahead and put this light on here. They're gonna go through here. We'll go ahead and uh, mount it. All right, so now if you look here, you're gonna see that there's two holes on either side, right here, and that's where these little last two screws are gonna go, okay? So we're gonna mount that to, okay, so actually we're gonna use these two bottom holes. So this is probably the easiest way is to position it like this on the table. Put the screw in there. Both of them. So there's we are good to go. Alright, so so there is our bracket ready to install on the our reef tank. Okay, so here we have our, our RS90 Turing set up on our tank. Um, we couldn't put it on the back, ideally. Um, it is probably in the center of the tank, but we could move this slides back and forth so we could easily move that if it's not in the center, which is where it should be. Uh, but the bar is in the center of the tank. This is the monitor, it has a quick set. And so the tie straps, in case you were wondering, um, are the, for the cords. You see the cords are all over the place for now. So what you do is you tie strap them to hear the cord neatly along there. And we'll do that as soon as we can. So the first thing we need to do is, as you can see the lights are going on and off, is we need to go ahead and get these channels set. And let me show you the bracket. Bracket goes, sorry, like that. Okay, it's right there, just hangs on. Okay, so now final words here on uh, this uh, pop bloom. Very clean look, very nice right now. It's in autumn mode. Now, the instruction booklet works very, very well, okay? Um, this this instruction manual on how to set your timer. Timer is very easy. Um, okay, so there you can see the channels and what they're at, right? Okay, this is in autumn mode. You can change that. Right now we are in autumn. We're in the northern hemisphere, we're in autumn. Now, easy, okay, you got four channels, right? The escape button really is the back out button. I can tell you that when you program this, okay? The set button is to set something. Once you want it there, you set it. Of course, you can always change it. Shift button is to move from um, mode to mode, right? Uh, and plus and minus. So like, let's say for instance, you're gonna set the time. So you start off with hitting set to get to any of these other menus, okay? So we're gonna hit set and you're gonna see there's an auto pre-cycle, there's a set time and date. And when you move these around, there you go, plus and minus, it moves it up and down, uh, plus moves it down, minus moves it up. And then you can just hit set again, and it will, you know, you can set the time and date. Remember, it's on like military time. So if you're gonna set one o'clock PM, there's no A or P, it's 1300 hours, right? And if it's one in the morning, then it's, you know, one o'clock. Okay, so that's how that works. And of course you wanna back out, you just escape, and, if, and um, it goes back to the main screen. So if you have any, Worries about this, don't worry about it. It's very easy to use. Um, just your instructional manual sh uh, is step-by-step -step and it tells you, so you'll, you really don't have to worry. So if you 
couldn't understand me for whatever reason, look in your instruction manual on how to set it and it explains it. Just go uh, bit by page by page and you'll see uh, that you have lots of options um, to, to do. Okay, all right, folks. So there's the um, Pop Bloom R uh, Turing RS90 uh, programmable LED reef lights. And uh, yeah, I played with them so I could see them back and forth, up and down. And there are, it's a huge difference between the last light I had. Very huge difference. Thanks for uh, tuning in this week's episode. And we will follow up with this to show you how it's working, you know, how the tank is doing. So now we have our 40 roomless tank with a hang on tank refugium and a programmable light. And we are hoping that our corals will, will do even better with this. All right, folks, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And you want to see more Build an Aquarium Workshop? please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, have a great day.